This is problem two from the unit four review. Uh, it's about workers. So I'm just going to dive in because there's a chance this video could be a long video. So I'm just going to go kind of fast. So we've given this information. We basically have two uh, variables, gender and then the type of uh, job in the company. So either management, supervisor, or production. So the first question is, what's the probability of female? So probability of female can be just from the diagram. Looks like it would be 6 plus 12 plus 72 divided by the total. And I believe the total is 150. Okay, I believe, yeah, the total is 150. Okay, so that should be about 6% or 60%, 0 0.6. Okay, so now what's the probability that it's, it's a randomly chosen employee is female? or a production worker. Okay, so let's see. So you need to remember the formula. So the probability of A or B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of both A and B. Okay, so here this would be the probability of female plus the probability of a production worker minus the probability of both. So we already did this. The probability of uh, female is, uh, let's see, 90 out of 150. If we added these up, we get 90, right? And then we add these up, we get 60. And for production, if we add them up, we get 117. So 117 out of 150. Now, if you think about it, we added to get we added all these up. So we added 72. It's part of the 90. But then when we added production workers, we added the 72 again. So that's why we have to subtract it off. We can't count it twice. Okay. So that's going to turn out to be uh, 0 0.9. Okay. So that's the first two. What's the probability that you're female given the person works in production? So female given production. So let's see. So by saying production, what we've done is we've narrowed the field to just this this row. Okay. But if we follow, so by the diagram, probably that's going to be 72 out of 117. That's what I'm going to say. Now, if we follow, if we follow the formula and just sort of accept it, I'm just going to call this F. Okay, then that would be the probability again, the probability of both female and production worker divided by the probability that they're a production worker. So female and production. That's 72 out of 150 divided by probability of a production worker is, we did it right here, 117 out of 150. Okay, and so with a little bit of algebra, that's going to be 72 out of 150. Okay, and you can calculate that. I think it's going to be... Um, Zero point six one five. 
Okay, so now they they want to know a production. What's the probability if they're a production worker? Um, given your female. Okay, so that's the probability of production and female divided by the probability of female. Same thing as before in terms of the formula. So we are going to get 72 over 150. And the probability of female, we already calculated. It's up here. Right? It's 90 out of 150. So that's going to be 72 out of 90. And that is 0 0.8. OK. So that's how you do these problems. Do these data suggest that job type is independent of gender? Well, a quick test is to just remember that the test for independence, a quick test for independence is, is the probability of A given B equal to the probability of A. In other words, you know, if if the condition doesn't matter, okay, then they would be independent. So um, if if yes, they're independent. If no, they're not independent. All right, so let's try. Well, an easy one. Look, we already did. We already did this. What's the probability of P given F, and is that equal to? This is my notation. Is that equal to the probability of P? Okay. So, in other words, what's the probability that a production worker? Of, of, what's the probability? that they're a production worker if they're female. Well, that's 0 0.8. And what's the probability that they're a production worker? Well, that's uh, that was 17, 117, right? That was 117 out of 150. So 117 out of 150. And let's just get the old calculator out. 117 divided by 150 equals 0.78. Equals hmm, that's interesting. Pretty close, aren't they? So let's just try one more test. What's the probability of, we did this one too, what's the probability of a female given your, uh, let's just take one up here, uh, given your a supervisor? Is that equal to the probability of female? Well, we already know the, the probability of female. Probability of female is 0 0.6. What's the probability that you're a female, given that you're a supervisor? So there's 20 supervisors, and so it's 12 out of 20, right? 12 out of 20. So 12 out of 20. Point six. Hmm. They equal here. So, and they're pretty close here. So, there's a couple ways of approaching this. If you think this is from sampling, 
you could say that the difference is not statistically significant. Therefore, for they appear to be independent. Okay, and that's good news for the company, by the way, because what it suggests is that um, women are in management positions equal to men. Okay, so there's a balance in the hiring uh, system. Now, let's say you were real rigorous and it was off by a little bit and you said, well, they're different. I might accept that as an answer too if you said they're not they're not independent because there's there is a difference if you provide the evidence if you do all this work and do these calculations and then your 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 conclusion is there that you think this is statistically significant then if you have the evidence i might still give you full credit okay so the the, the point at at this point in the course is that you have evidence of what your opinion is and use this formula. Okay, so that's uh, that's how you do this problem. Good luck.